Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing some examples of using the turtle library in Python. So first before we get started, what is a library? In programming, a library is a collection of code that you can import into your project. Um, typically it is a, a repurposable or reusable collection of code that is uh, to accomplish something that might be very complicated if you had to write everything out yourself. So the, the library makes it easier to accomplish. So the turtle library specifically is a graphics library for Python. And uh, if you were to try to write the code to make graphics display on the screen yourself, that would require a lot of code. So the, the turtle library is a collection of code that makes that process very easy. So we're going to go ahead and get started working with turtle. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm using the idle IDE for Python, and I'm going to create a new file. Uh, so this is the file where I will be writing my Python code to use the turtle library. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do if we want to use the turtle library is type the word import. This allows us to import the library code into our project. And so I'm going to import turtle. So that is all that you need to include in your file in order to have access to the turtle library. So now you can use the turtle library and it helps to create a variable that you can use to work with the turtle library. So I'm going to create a variable called T and I'm going to set it equal to turtle dot turtle. And so essentially what this does is it makes an instance of uh, turtle, which will allow me to use this as a variable and to give it some commands to draw some uh, cool shapes and colors onto the screen. The first thing I'm going to tell my turtle to do is I'm going to say t.forward. This tells the turtle, imagine essentially that you have a turtle walking around with a pen and it's drawing a shape behind it. So um, you can tell the turtle to move forward. Let's say move forward by 100. And if I want to just run this and just see what happens so far, uh, we do need to save this. Now one thing that's really important is uh, that you do not save your file as a turtle. Uh, you cannot call your file turtle, otherwise this import statement here at the top is going to actually just import your own file and then you lose access to the library. So we want to call this something else. So I'm going to call this shapes and colors and we'll just leave it with the Python extension and hit save. And now I can see uh, when I ran it, it then opened up this Python turtle graphics window and I have this little triangle shape here. This is actually the turtle and it walked in a straight line, uh, 100 pixels, and it starts out facing to the right. So if I wanna uh, open my code back up and see a few more things that I can do with this. So we can also turn the turtle either right or left and we use that with t dot right or t dot left and then we need to tell it the angle in degrees so 90 would be a right angle let's start with that uh, and then just so we can see the turtle move again let's move it forward by 100 once more and i will run this again and save and so now I can see the turtle, if we imagine ourselves as the turtle, we were walking in this direction and then we turn right by 90 degrees and then we walk in this direction. So uh, you can give the turtle different directions and different things that you want it to do. Uh, so let's try, um, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna make a, a full um, square now by making, uh, having it turn right again and forward again. Um, before I finish making this square, so um, one other thing you can do is you can change the color uh, that the turtle is drawing with. So we can say t.color is, and then you put your color in strings, and it has uh, a bunch of different colors that are just saved as their word. So the color blue is in there. Um, so now I'm going to copy and paste this so I can make a full square. So let's run this. I actually have... Uh, one additional line that I don't need. So this should bring us to a full square here. I move uh, 100 pixels and then I turn right, another 100 pixels and then turn right, another 100 pixels and then turn right, and then another 100 pixels. So let's run this. And I have added a typo. Let's fix that. Um, uh, so I accidentally typed T-O instead of T dot. 
So that would be my typo. So let's go ahead and fix that up and run it again. And now we have a square that is drawn in blue. If I wanted this square to be filled in, I can also add a fill color. So I could say t.fill, and this is fill color. And I'm gonna give it blue again as well for the fill color. Now, right now, it's actually not going to do anything different if we run this right now. Um, just because I have specified a fill color doesn't mean it automatically fills in. In order to get it to fill in, you actually have to um, tell it to begin fill and then end fill when you're done filling in a shape. So we could do t.beginfill. And then at the end of this, we would want to end the fill because we don't want it to continue filling in. Uh, when we start drawing our next shape, we want to have, uh, otherwise it will fill in all the space between those shapes as well. So um, I'm going to do end fill. And so now I have a filled in square. So uh, let's do another shape. So let's, um, if we want to have space between our shapes, what we can do is we can use something called pen up and pen down to move the turtle without connecting our shapes. Um, and just to show you the difference, so I'm, I'm going to move the turtle forward by 200 so I can draw my next shape a little distance away. Um, and then I'm, I'll just draw the next shape and then I'll show you pen up and pen down. So let's say uh, we want to draw a circle. So circle is one of the things that we can draw. And to draw a circle, we need to give it a radius. Let's give it a radius of 50. And let's just go ahead and uh, run this first of all and see what happens. So there's my square. And then the turtle comes up here and it draws a circle, but you can see it left a line in between. If you don't want it to leave a line in between, and probably you don't, then what you can do is use t dot pen up and then move it forward 200 and then use t dot pen down before proceeding to draw the shape. So now let's see this in action. So we draw our square and come up here and we draw our circle. Um, let's change the color before we draw the circle so we can have the circle be drawn in a different color. So I'm going to say t dot color and let's use green for our circle and run that one more time. And so now our circle is green. So let's ne let's next move our uh, our turtle uh, over here somewhere um, and we'll draw one more shape. So let's um, well once again use t dot pen up before we move. Um, if you want to move, uh, if you want to think about how you could move it down here, we want to think about how far do we need to rotate and then how far do we need to move. So we know that this square is 100 pixels and we know that there's a distance of 200 between these two. So I probably want to go more than 200 down in this direction. Uh, and I also need to turn more than 90 degrees. So I'm going to turn left this time and I'm going to turn left um, let's say maybe 120 degrees. Let's try that and see what happens. So let's say t dot left 120 and then t dot forward and let's say 250. Let's try that first. And just so we can see, um, have it draw something when we get to that new destination, I'm going to say t dot pen down and we'll just do t dot forward and let's do 20 just so we can see where it ends up. So we'll go ahead and run that again. So there's our square, there's our circle. And so now I can see this is how far my turtle made it. This is not quite where I was aiming for. So uh, we can turn a little further to the left and we can go a little further uh, in the in the new forward direction. So uh, let's go ahead and let's say 140 degrees and let's say we want to move 350 uh, pixels forward. Now let's run it again and see what happens. So there's our square, there's our circle, 
And now this is right about where I wanted it to end up for my final shape. So let's make a final shape here. And let's think about how we could draw a hexagon. So we know that we can draw angled lines, like we have this little tiny angled line right here. Um, so let's think about what, uh, what rotations and, and distances we would need to make in order to uh, draw a hexagon. Uh, so first I am going to change my color. Let's change the color to red. And um, let's go ahead and think about, so let's start with, maybe let's say that we want to start with the bottom of the hexagon. So I'm going to turn the turtle, um, let's say I, uh, if I turn it to the left, uh, I should be able to get it to line up with the bottom. If I remember the, the angle that I turned it before was 140. Um, and if we think about making perfect 90 degree angles, so if we got this to total 180, then I think that would maybe have us going in a fl flat line over here. Um, actually, uh, 180 would probably be straight down, but let's try that first. So let's say T dot left and let's go 40 degrees so that we can get this total. So we've turned left by 140 so far. Let's get the total up to 180. And we'll leave this uh, 20 distance just so we can see it um, and see which direction we are facing at that point. So here is our square, here is our circle, and now we have a, a red line going straight down. Um, and I do want to start with the bottom of the hexagon just to make it a little bit easier. So let's add an additional 90 to this. So that would actually be 130. And let's go ahead and say, uh, let's make the bottom of our line 50 and let's run this again and we'll see the square then we'll see the circle and then we'll see the bottom of the hexagon which is a straight line now let's think about what angle we need to do to make a hexagon um, so we are if we did a full 90 degrees that would be going straight up uh, and we want to be able to turn three times before we get to the next straight edge. Uh, so if we think about 180 would face us the opposite direction. Uh, so if we do 60, 60, and 60, that would get us to a total of 180, which would face us in the opposite direction. So let's try to logic that out. Uh, let's go ahead and do T dot left 60 and T dot forward 50, t dot left 60 again, and t dot forward 50. And let's take a look and see where we are at right now. So we still have our square, we still have our circle. We come down here and we have the first three sides of a hexagon. Perfect. So now we just need to finish it out. So we need to go 50 pixels this way, then uh, another 60 degree turn, uh, 50 pixels uh, in the next uh, direction, and then uh, our 60 degree turn one more time. So let's go ahead and add that. So we'll do T dot left 60 and T dot forward 50, oops, I forgot the parenthesis, and then T dot left again, 60, T dot forward, 50, and um, I think I need one more, but let's try it and see. I think I'm one short, but let's find out. So there's our square again, there's our circle, and now we have one, two, three, four, five sides. So we do need to make one more edge to have a completed hexagon. So let's go ahead and T dot left one more time and T dot forward 50. And if we wanted to fill this in, we could fill it in just like we did before. So we can do um, before we before we start making our shape. So all of this is going to be our hexagon. Uh, I'm going to add a comment here so I can tell where the hexagon begins. And it would be a good idea to add comments to my other shapes as well. So uh, this one is my square. And here is my circle. So now I can tell which one of each of these is my um, 
each of my shapes. So I have a square first, then I have a circle, then I have a hexagon. So for my hexagon, if I wanted to fill it in, I could do t dot fill color, and I'll use the same red color, and t dot begin fill. And remember to do t dot end fill at the end of your shape. And let's run this and see it in action. So we have a square, we have a circle, and we have a filled in hexagon. And each one of these is a different color. So that's how you can get started pretty easily making shapes and colors in Turtle. Uh, it becomes a, a lot of fun once you start making interesting pictures with the shapes that you can make. So um, I would challenge you to think about how you can use the, just the, the angles and the lines and the colors to make some interesting art with it. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.